Hi guys, it's Enam here with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and we're going to take a look at how easily we can update and install Android 5.0 Lollipop on this device. Now this is an official Samsung update that recently got pushed out to devices in Poland. So if you don't want to wait for your mobile provider to push this update to your handset, you can follow this process. So I'll just show you what I'm running first of all. If you head on over into our settings and then about device, you can see the mobile number here is SM-G900F, Android version is 4.4.2 KitKat. Now this process will not wipe your handset so you'll still have all your data and applications but as ever I would recommend that you have a backup of anything important. And the first thing that we're going to do is head on over into developer options. So scroll down, if you don't have it go into about device and hit build number seven times until it says you are a developer. Then go back a step and then you should see it just above about device. So head on over in here, scroll down and make sure there's a tick next to USB debugging, which I already have. So what we'll do, we'll just power off the device and we'll go into download mode. So pressing volume down, power and home simultaneously until we get the message on the screen and then we're going to do volume up to continue and plug in the device into our computer using a USB cable. The first thing that you'll need to do is download the update so head on over to sammobile.com if you don't already have an account make one it's completely free and I'll leave a direct link to this download page down in the description box below and you can see it's here so hit download and you'll get another confirmation page so hit download again and you'll see it downloading. Now this is a pretty big update at 1.4 gigabytes so make sure you give it plenty of time. Once that's finished downloading it'll give you a zip file and you can see mine on my desktop here so extract this I'm going to use 7-zip which is a completely free application which I'll leave a link to down in the description box below. I'll just bring into shot here what is just extracted and if you head on over here you can see the .tar.md5 file that we're going to flash our handset with. So we're just going to come out to this window here and load up Odin. If you don't already have Odin I'll leave a link to this down in the description box as well. You'll notice a blue COM port lit up. If you've got an older version of Odin it may be yellow but either way it needs to be lit up. Now this symbolizes that the phone is talking to the computer okay so if it's not lit up that means there's a problem. So I would recommend trying a different USB cable, maybe a different USB port, possibly one at the back of the computer as well as removing the Samsung drivers and reinstalling installing them fresh from the Samsung website. I'll also leave a link to those Samsung drivers down in the description box below if you need them. All the options below this need to be completely left as they are if they allow you to change them but if they're like mine greyed out just leave them be you can't do nothing about that. So hit the tick box next to PDA and then hit the PDA button and find the file that you've just extracted and here's ours here. So .tar.md file as you can see there, we're going to hit open and we're ready to rock. So we're going to hit start and you can see on the device the blue status bar will slowly go across. It's not as fast as rooting the device but you'll notice the status bar slowly go across as it progresses. Excellent, we're done with Odin so we can exit out of this and as you can see the Galaxy S5 is rebooting and we can unplug the USB cable because that's no longer required. This is the first time that it's booting up so just be patient and let it do its thing as it will be upgrading the applications as well. There we have it that definitely took a couple of minutes to go through so we'll just wipe it in here and let it settle down. Just tap past the menus. Let's take a look at this notification here and you can see the material design is coming through on this Samsung update so I'm just going to hit OK to this report and you can see my wallpaper is still there. All my applications are laid out how I left them and we'll just try root checker because I believe you will lose root access when you go through this process and as you can see it says sorry this device does not have root access so do bear that in mind if you've rooted your device you will lose a root access when you go through this update process and I'll just show you by going into the settings and then we'll go down to about device 
and then if we scroll down you can see android version 5.0 lollipop and as i said this is for the g900f variant of the galaxy s5 i don't have other variants so i'm not sure if this will actually work with other ones so i'll hold that down here and we get android's own flappy bird iteration is this Flopsy Bird by any chance? Does anyone know? But there we have it, guys. That's how easily you can update and install Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Galaxy S5. So if you want to follow this process to update your device, you can do so, or you can wait for your network provider to roll the update to you. But I don't know how long that will take. As ever, follow this process at your own risk. I do not take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong. And as ever, always have a backup of any important data any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there or hit me up on social media twitter and instagram at enam i do post up a lot of photographs over on instagram from varying devices so do check me out over there if you found this video informative and helpful do hit that thumbs up and if you're new and you want to tag along hit that subscribe button just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos as we've got plenty of content coming up thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time